Hello, my name is Erica Carney and I'm a senior from Wobble High School and this is my three object speech. My first object is a passion of mine that I've had for quite a long time. And this is my passion for art and painting. I have been painting for many years and enjoy it so much that I just, I love to put my art out there. I love to put it on walls. I like to show people that they don't have to be good at art just to do it. And that is something that's really important to me is that you don't have to be good at everything you do. In art, you don't have to be perfect to be good at it. My second object is my medals. I have so many medals I can't even count, but I am a gold medalist for state and choir and solo and ensembles, and I'm also a cross-country champion and state qualifier and districts champion, stuff like that. Yeah. I have been running cross-country for about seven, six, seven years now, just track and cross-country mainly, but it is a passion of mine that has come down through my family for many generations, and I'm hoping it continues through my family. And I hope I just pass it on to others that they don't have to be good at running either to show that they can get a medal. I mean, I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't have people pushing me. I have also been in choir for about four years. I have sang my whole life, but whenever I got into high school, choir was a really big part of who I became and my scholarships and what I want to do with the rest of my life. And I wouldn't be anywhere without my cross country team, my individual attributes and accomplishments and without anybody pushing me to strive for my best. Okay, my third object. It's not really an object. This is my dog. He likes to snort. This is Hambone. He is. His story actually comes with an interesting, interesting name. So, this is my emotional support dog. My mother says she's not sure if I'm supporting him or if he's supporting me, but, you know. <laughs> Hambone is about two years old, and he was actually born and raised in our household. Um... When he was born, his mother attacked him, actually, and tried to kill him and uh, all of his siblings, which is rather unfortunate, and it ended up breaking his right leg and his little jaw. Yeah, smushy face. Well, we kept him alive. We tube fed him, and we did everything we could to keep him alive. But when he was a baby, his little legs swelled up so big that it looked like a ham bone. So we decided to name him ham bone and it stuck. So this is my baby. This is ham bone. Can you say hi? He's not, he's happy to meet you all. <laughs> okay. Thank you for listening.